What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to show you 10 weird gadgets I found on Amazon. Let's see what I got this time. For the first gadget, this is one of the weirdest one right here, it's a neck cracker or something like that. You pretty much strap your head on a door and kind of hang yourself but not really. My neck hurts a little bit right here so hopefully it will help. Okay, straight forward, I would recommend putting some kind of thick uh, material in here because it will scratch up your door. Unfortunately, I learned it the hard way. Oh look, there's two straps over here. And there goes nothing, guys. Take off the head. How does it go? Velcro. Obviously gonna go under my neck. You know what, you guys cannot see me. Let me move the camera. You know what, first of all, I could probably count myself up. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, I'm also too tall for the door thing. I need a much taller door. Oh my gosh, you know what? I think I'm do holding it upside down. Start like that, because it's way too much on my chin. Oh my gosh, that kind of feels good. Wow, the whole pain is going away. That looks super weird. So if it's too tall, I can release it. Ow, ow, don't release it like that. Okay, crank it back up. It hit right on my head. I'm gonna stand on my knees. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. The rope is definitely tall enough. The door is spinning a little bit. Ow. Okay, I think on the knees is way better, that's why I'm not cheating. Oh wow, it actually helps so much. My neck really does hurt and the pain going away. But, will it completely will go away? We'll find out. This is kind of funny. I mean, imagine you're just doing this thing and then somebody walks in on you in your room and they will just freak out. <laughs> Honestly, you know what, it doesn't have to be stuff on super hard anyways, but I put a blanket on it because it did scratch up my door. But yeah, it definitely helped in my neck. Where's my rope? Let's jig it some more. Oh, ow! Okay guys, don't do it too tight, let's release it a little bit. Ah. Just make sure you hold it when you release it or it hits your head. Oh yeah, this is very nice. I always have neck problems. At least every like six months my neck hurts a lot. So this is kind of cool, I might do this. You know what, I thought it would be so scary and dangerous. This seems actually pretty cool. What do you think? Okay, now let's take it off. How do I take it off? Ah! <laughs> wow, no way! No, no, it's still there. You know what, my neck still hurts, but my my pain is more like a muscle pain right now. Kind of stretch my neck a little bit. Anyways guys, let me know in comments below what do you think about this super weird neck stretcher. I don't know, like crack or something, whatever it's called. I like it, pretty funny. Next I have here a whole box of this weird gadgets I got on Amazon. Whenever you order it on Amazon, sometimes they put everything in one box. But there is lots of little boxes inside there. Whoa, this is a lot bigger than I thought. Sometimes whenever you buy stuff online, you never know how big it's going to be. So this is candle stand right here. As you can see, this is unicorn. Let's see what it does whenever we put a candle in and light it up. I also think I have another weird candle. Let's find it real quick. Wow, this is huge. I almost don't don't want to use it. Whoa, look at that, that horse. But what's inside of it, there's a skeleton. And whenever 
this thing burns out, the skeleton will pop off. You know what? This is a lot bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be this big when I was ordering. And this is another unicorn. And you light it and then the skeleton will pop out whenever it burns out. You know what? I probably save this one. Now you know what it does. But this one we will light up to see what happens. Because it's kind of usable. So while it's burning we'll come back to this. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, you know what? I know what this is. This is... You go to the chicken coop and this is egg holder. You just put your he eggs inside here instead of carrying a bowl. You just put it over your waist and one, two, three, four, five, fifteen eggs. I only have ten chickens. If I go there every day, that will be enough for me. And that way I don't have to worry about putting it in uh, one of those uh, egg holders. Your both hands are free to fill them up. I thought this is just kind of funny. We'll demonstrate with chickens in a little bit. Another strange gadget over here. I don't know why would you want people to think that you can a bottle of wine. Kind of a label was sticked on very horribly. Already a bad gadget. But you open it and this is actually a regular umbrella. That's it. Looks like very cheap umbrella. What's happening here? <laughs> wow, this umbrella doesn't even work. Looks like I have to unspin it like this. And boom, you got an umbrella. But just in case, for some reason, you don't want anybody to know that you have an umbrella. So that way it's hiding it. It looks like a bottle of wine. Will it fit back where it's supposed to be after opening it one time? Let's find out. Okay, somehow it did fit in back inside there. There you go. Weirdest gadget ever. But a wine umbrella. Okay, let's see what else we have here. So, this is LED G, something like that. You can actually see those all over as seen on TV infomercials. There is that here. USD cord, I'm keeping that. But this is a flashlight over your neck and stuff. Usually I love my headlamps, but there you go, there's a neck rest. You put it over your neck. Oh wow, look, the battery is still alive. And there's a double. And then you got your flashlight, check this out. You see on the table, it lights up. I think the infomercial was about it. Now you can read the book and whatever. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, kind of stiff a little bit. You really have to adjust it to make it comfortable. You know what? I think I'm gonna stick with my headlamps anyways. This is just too weird and not super steady either. Headlamps, they follow you everywhere you look. So it would be just as easy reading it. So I don't know why they come up with this idea. Thinking that maybe would be better. But yeah, super weird neck flashlight. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, there is another one. I should have done a whole neck gadget. First one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. Maybe I'll make a little compilation over here. USB charger. And this is, I saw all over Japan. This is actually pretty new gadget. This is a neck fan. Honestly, I was just at Disney. Oh wow, look at that. And it is really, really hot. Even in the... Oh, they both look already spinning. Awesome. And they're really easily adjustable. And yeah, it's really, really hot. And they sell all over those handheld um, fans. Who needs a handheld one? Whenever you can grab it, put it on your neck and adjust it. Wait. Adjust it this way. And now you have a little bit of air going out into your face. This actually cools me off. Wow, this is actually feels to breathe much, much cooler. Except like makes me water my eyes. Whenever there's too much wind into your eyes, it's gonna make some water. This is so awesome. Oh wow, check this out. They light up too. If you wanna be cool, you see, they change light. You press it and they change to yellow, red, green, or maybe a couple other colors, blue. This is super cool. So at night time it would be amazing. And you know what? Even like putting it down to your chest, it's actually 
cools you off too. I like it. I mean, I feel cool and I feel cool. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Press it again. It spins faster. I didn't know that. Oh, even faster. Oh, this is definitely gonna water my eyes. But yeah, this is insane. Let's test it out on the max. It's probably 30 seconds right here. And you know the cooler? Oh my gosh, this is cold. Uh, the coolest part about this thing, it's rechargeable. Don't even have to worry about batteries. I love it. So bring with yourself power bank. You got here unlimited neck fan. Okay, three seconds. Beautiful. Definitely going to use it. Don't put them back on. Amazing gadget right here. That candle is not even halfway. We got to keep waiting what's going to happen to it. We'll find out in a little bit. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh no, I just put it to the test in the last video. This cleaner slime type of stuff. Universal dust cleaner. You see what I'm saying? And it's supposed to be like a slime and it's supposed to be reusable. Last one was totally fail. This is, looks similar and look at that. Already super slimy. And I thought maybe mine went bad because I had it for a while. But you know what? No, this is pretty much the same material. It's pretty sticky and oily. I can feel my hands are super, super oily. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna stay away from that. Maybe if it gets dusty a little bit, it will stop being so sticky and oily. But in the first place, you know, let's clean my table, see what happens. This is a dark table, we can really see. There's a lot of dust. I mean, it kind of work. Whenever you keep going, maybe it makes your hands slimy. Maybe wear gloves when you use it. But the table actually stays clean and dust free. And I think whenever it gets a little bit of dusty, it won't be so sticky, like crazy sticky. Once you're done with it, put it away in a Ziploc bag for next use. That's the best part about opening these boxes. I even forgot what I ordered. Oh, no way. This is so cool. Check this out. It's a lot heavier than I thought, but yeah, I guess you'd carry it with yourself around. But whenever you need a chair, all you have to do is grab it right here and right here. And pull it out. Whoa. What a cool design. Let me show you guys close up. You just pull it out. You see how it transforms. And then it locks in. But to lock it back in, just twist it. Twist it and all these nuts will come, come inside. And I guess there is some kind of free. You need a chair? Boom. Don't need a chair anymore. And you got a handle right here. And I think they said here you got over the shoulder strap. It's a justice. Very, very long to make it over the shoulder. Durability test. 230 pounds, remember? Ooh. Wow, this is nice. I wouldn't jolt on it, but it's pretty comfortable. Go fishing or whatever. This is super cool. Very unique, innovative. And you can surprise some friends to be like coolest seat ever. I'm just gonna leave it out here in the studio. Cause I guess I'm gonna call it the last item. Let's see what I got here. Oh, I know what it is. Man, so many good thumbnails. I don't even know which one to use. So, which one is which over here? That's definitely too big for it. That's gotta be it. I guess it's pretty tight fit. This one a big one. Nope, this one is bigger. Wait, what? It just kind of goes sideways? That is funny. Okay, this one gonna go into here. No, this one don't even fit. I guess they give me a random set of knives or some. So that's how deep it's going to go in. Then this one goes into here. Nope. This kind of... Ow! I don't know if this knife is actually made for this board. Obviously not, because they don't even fit all the way. They're kind of sticking out halfway. 
So again, all these knives penetrating and stuck to the shield, but did not hit the guy. But the coolest part about this knife holder, uh, it's kind of steady, kind of want to fall over, but I, I think it's steady once you put the sharpener in to the magnet. Boom. And look at that. He's actually attacking us with the sharpener, you know what I mean? Like a Spartan. And this is new audio magnet. I do not think it's ever gonna fall off unless you bump into it. Okay, finally. Okay, I'm gonna help it out. Make it leak a little bit from the side. So about halfway in, it's, I think it's going to start leaking. And look at that. Looks like this pony is crying. Well, in this case, it's green uh, tears. That is just hilarious. Will it be red at the end over here? I really want to see. This is just strange. I guess you just put it in a washing machine or wash it with a really hot water and the wax will come off once you want to put a different uh, candle. What do you guys think? And it would go from both sides if you let it just uh, burn by itself. I thought it was just super strange, wanted to put it to the test. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which weirdest gadget you... Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which weirdest gadget was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.